almost 80% of cities around the world will face dramatic climate changes in just 30 years. Scientists at the Crowther Lab have studied more than 500 cities to see how they'd be impacted by a global temperature hike of another half a degree. The study has found tropical cities including Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, Jakarta and Yangon will feel the strongest impact by 2050 and some may even face unknown conditions that have never been experienced anywhere on the planet. Earlier we spoke to the lead researcher of the report for a better sense of what these conditions could be. So it's uh, it's quite concerning. So it, it can it can lead to several stuff. It's uh, it's not like just one reason. It can be an increase, a global increase of temperature. It could be like more extreme precipitation during the, the wet season. It can be a more intense dry season. It can be a warmer uh, summer. So it can mean many different things. But definitely, it's it's something that we have not experienced before in those cities on the planet. The study also revealed that cities in 2050 could experience climates that are the opposite of what they are today. So, for example, they predict that London's weather could resemble that of Barcelona, Paris will be similar to Canberra, Australia, and Tokyo more like Changsha in central China. In Europe, summers are projected to get 3.5 degrees warmer and winters will rise by 4.7 degrees. While some cities might relish for f warmer weather, global heating will likely result in water shortages and have damaging effects on public health and infrastructure. The good news is there is a solution, and it's trees. Crowther Lab scientists estimate that planting billions of acres of trees could help remove two-thirds of all carbon emissions in the atmosphere. It's um, when you look at the shift of cities and, and you look like you, you can really get a better grasp on what's, what, what will happen and you can realize that the change is going to be massive. So if you want to limit the, the change, you need to act now. So you need to definitely, we need to uh, move away from uh, an economy which is based on fossil fuels. We need to think a bit uh, more about the way we're consuming on the planet, the way we eat, the way we move on the planet. We need a lot of change. A lot can be done from the citizen, but we need governments, uh, politicians which are responsible and which, which take actions now. Otherwise, it will be probably too late.